Hi friends, this will be a fun one. We create a beat pump effect or techno beat pump effect, however you want to call it. So let's get right into it. I put my footage here on the timeline and I put some music on it. I know the where the beats are. You can see them also here in the waveform. I want to start here because I will be too slow for that one. And I want to go and hit the M button in order to go with the flow and mark every beat. I hope I will get it right. So let's have a look. Let's have a try. Wish me luck. I think that should do. What we are going to do is we close the inspector first and foremost and we have effects library. We go to effects and get an adjustment clip. We put it right here on video track 2. I will shorten it so that it starts with the first beat and ends with the second beat. That it has exactly the length that we want to. I click on the adjustment clip, go in the inspector, and then I'm going to enable dynamic zoom. And what I I'm doing then is I go here in the editor and here I choose the dynamic zoom. So I have the handles, the green one where's the starting point and the red one. So I make it a little bit more pumping. This is what I'm going for. I can disable that. In the inspector, I go to file and then I rename our adjustment clip to beat zoom one. And what I'm going to do then is I open the media pool and here in the media pool, I click on this three dots. In this menu, I go and say show power bins. And here I have my power bins. Now I drag our beat zoom one into that power bin. And what I achieved now is that I will have that beat zoom one in whatever project I'm working. So I close that. And now I'm going to Alt drag. So I hit the Alt button on the keyboard and make a copy of this. And then I disable the snapping for a moment so I can get a little bit more nuanced. I will speed this up so you see me now work very, very fast. <laughs> Now I'm going to home. So this was already a lot of fun. What we can do in order to make it even more interesting, we go to effects and then we go to add additional effects to it. So let's see what we have here in the blur department, for example. We could choose a zoom blur. Let's have a look what this does. That's right, that's great. And let's undo that. Maybe a prism blur. Yeah, the prism blur is likely very cool as well. Yeah, what we are going to do is, and you will see me work very fast again. First thing is I'm going to the inspector and here with file I call this one two. And you guess it, I'm going to the media pool and in our power bins I drag now our beat zoom. So we have two versions to our disposal. So now I'm going to quickly replace all the beat one with the beat two. And then I'm back in a second. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, you get the gist of it. I hope you have fun using it for your dance and music videos or for whatever application you might come up with. I hope also you subscribe to this channel if you have any value of it and see you next time. Have fun with the rest of this playlist. Goodbye.